Hey guys, this is Brad from the Old Tools YouTube channel and on Reddit, I'm Cartman KCCO. If you guys haven't visited the Del Sol Reddit, um, definitely do that. Tons of awesome people, tons of sweet Del Sols and a bunch of awesome info on there. On today's video, we're gonna be changing out the super old light bulbs behind your instrument uh, cluster with some fresh new LEDs. Uh, big shout out to Protect and Serve You on Reddit. He's the one that shot the video since he installed them first. I asked him to help me out with that and I will be doing it after him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just a reminder, we did get old souls uh, decals made. Um, private message me if you guys want some. They are 10 for one or 15 for two. So uh, they look pretty awesome and uh, all the proceeds of those decals will be going towards making shirts or hats or uh, calendars, whatever we feel like doing next. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's pretty informative and uh, it's awesome. Thanks again for watching. We will also link those LEDs that we're using, um, I believe off eBay in the description below if anybody wants to pick them up and uh, do this for yourself. All right, have a good one guys. Hey guys, Protect and Serve here. So I'm going to be putting in LED cluster lights that I got off eBay. I'll link the uh, guy that I used in there, but this is the before shot with the stock 20 year old bulbs. So we'll see how they look when we're done. So the first thing we're going to have to do is take out these two bolts that are on top of the bezel here. This will remove this whole portion up here. And then after that, we're just going to have to unplug the uh, male female electronic connectors for the hazards and the defrost. And then for the cruise control, this is a 97, so I don't have the aux lights. Uh, but I'll do both of that, and then I will show you where we're at afterwards. All right, so we got those two screws out. You just got to pull on this to get it out. You're going to have to connect these uh, plugs up here. Like I said, I only have three. Um, don't worry about labeling or anything. They only go in one way. Um, they're all different sizes and fit differently, so it's pretty easy. So I'll show you that, and then we'll get going. So we got the plugs undone. You're going to have to take out three screws to actually get the whole instrument cluster out. So there's one on the left side here, one underneath on the very top middle there, and then the other one is behind these. So when you unplug these, you don't unplug the whole thing. There's just a little button here. Push and pull that out. Like I said, this one only has 10 skinny holes. This one has, looks like, 12 wide. So you can only put them in one way, so it's super easy. Pull that out and show you what it looks like. We got the screws out. Now all we gotta do is actually wiggle the cluster out, pull it out a little bit, and then you got more tabs here in the back. Same thing, they only go to each side, so we'll unplug all of those, and then we'll be able to actually pull out the entire cluster. All right, so we got the cluster out. The uh, two plugs on the right, the green ones, and this light blue one here were from the switches on top. This dark blue one, the yellow, the big two blue ones on the top, those are actually from the back of the cluster. So you can see here's what the back looks like. There's all the holes where the plugs came from. Super easy to get out. I'm going to use this time to clean this out, which is hard to get even with a detailing brush because why not since it's out. All right, so we have the cluster out. These are the old lights that we're gonna be pulling out. This is what came in my kit. So you can see there's only about nine there. Um, at first I got a little bit panicked and then I realized that if you look at this and flip it over, uh, there's a lot of the lights that you don't want to change to just white LEDs like the turn signals and emergency brake light, seat belt light, the low gas gauge, and then the SRS and the ABS uh, light. So I'm sure that's why they didn't give you all of them. So you can still have the color coordinated warning lights and everything. So we will get into this. All right guys, so as you can see here on this bulb here, I already twisted it. This one's the stock one. So essentially you just twist it to the left, pull it out. This is what the stock 20 year old bulb will look like. Sorry for the blurriness there. This is the LED one that we're gonna be replacing. So the fact that these have been going for 20 years and these are LEDs, I'm guessing I'll probably have to, never have to do this again. Um, you have to put the light into the bracket here. So as you can see over here, they come separately. You just push them in there. Um, the polarity on these does matter. So if you plug them in, once you get the car all plugged back in, if one of them doesn't work, you probably just have to pull it out and switch the polarity. So we will switch all of these out. All right guys, so 
while I was unplugging all of these lights, these are a couple of the new ones. Get kind of close. You can see they just look a little bit different on the back. Mm. Yeah, so it says V2. These are the stock ones. They also say V2, but they're just the stock ones. Um, so all of the ones that I've been pulling out for the white ones have this kind of blue tint on them. So I pulled out a couple ones that I knew weren't going to be white for the warning lights. And they're an actual colored bulb. So I think that's the way that I'm going to just double check my work that I'm not accidentally replacing something else. So I will finish all this up and then throw it back in so we can look at it. All right, guys, I got everything back in. All the lights seem to be working. Um, you'll see on the photos that this portion here between 100 and 120 miles per hour uh, was a little bit dim. Uh, they threw in an extra LED bulb, uh, thankfully, so I switched that out, uh, plugged it in one more time. Seems to be f uh, working totally well now. Um, so good thing they threw in that bulb. I don't know if it was the polarity or the bulb or the actual thing that holds the bulb. Um, but I just replaced the whole thing and it seems to be working great now. So all the dimmer stuff works. So we'll get it all put back in the dash and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> Thank you.